Hey guys, welcome back to Boosted Gaming. So today we just uh, had a state of the game. They kind of went through. They talked about all the stuff coming up. We know a few dates now. We know what's happening, when it's happening. We talked about Nightmare for a little bit. Uh, they kind of touched on everything coming out. So let's dive into it. So guys, they started off the state of the game talking about the PDR and how they've buffed uh, pretty much every variant, no matter what it was, from the test subject to the capacitor. Uh, they changed up uh, some of the capacitor stuff. They talked about that last stream as well. Uh, we kind of covered that in one of our videos uh, recently. Same thing with the Scorpio. They went through and talked about how uh, they changed the duration of the debuff. Uh, but then they got into the optimization station. And this is what they had to say about that. Uh, the optimization station cost uh, trick. You were involved in this. Yes. Yeah. Um, I I I am the optimization station cost person. Uh, both in the, the income for the resources and the the requirement, the cost inside of the store itself, inside of the the station itself. There was a lot um, of so feedback. we looked at it. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of feedback on it, and it is it is very yeah. expensive. Like one of the the it's tuned right now so that it is still a better idea to try to recalibrate your exotics into uh, or recalibrate uh, the re-roll your exotics into being very close to the stats that you want for example and then using optimization to push them over or we don't ever want optimization to be a faster way of getting your max stats for all of your gear than going out and targeting loot for it it should be the thing that you use to round off something that's very close or to be like oh this is the gun that got the perfect rolls these have the exact stats on it i want it's got exactly the talent that i want on it i don't mind that it's at 50 percent. i'm willing to sink eight or ten hours to get this to become the perfect gun um even though its rolls were very low power um and that's that's the intent for it because otherwise if it's too cheap then the the loot doesn't matter anymore and the, the re-rolling your exotics doesn't matter anymore, and a bunch of the economy of the game just kind of disappears. But it's still in an achievable range. You can get things faster during the course of a season as well, because the, the optimization cache exists both on the, the season track inside of every one of the leagues, on the global events, which is now something you can repeatedly purchase, because the global events you now earn stars as you play inside of them and can spend those on a global event store and you can buy the optimization cash in there um so you can get much faster than uh sort of the experience that you're getting on pts so they go on to say that because they weren't able to fully test it on the pts they, they didn't get a full feel for you know how long it would take you to get these components and all these materials for optimization and and how much the actual cost was going to be uh, effective um, because they didn't get a full grasp of that on the PTS, they're waiting for it to fully come out um, with Title Update 12 on the 8th. And then they're going to reevaluate the overall cost and see if it's effective or not. Because they don't want it to be too powerful, but they don't want it to be not used at all or take way too long. So they're going to be reevaluating that. They also did say that the shade material um, that's going to be used for some of it is actually the hardest material to get. And they actually meant for that to be more of you crafting that using electronics, titanium, and some unknown third material. Um, I think I have that in another video, so we'll try to cover that as well. Um, but then we get into Nightmare. Let's see what they say. Uh, yeah, I do. And uh, this is not a reveal of Codename Nightmare. Uh, it will have to remain a, a secret. But um, yeah, there's an update we wanted to share uh, with everyone to be, uh, to be transparent. Uh, and uh, for those of you who uh, don't remember, Codename Nightmare was teased at uh, Ubisoft Forward in September. Uh, we had uh, you know, the trailer for uh, the summit, and then at the end, there was a small tease of uh, Codename Nightmare. And we said that would be a unique experience uh, that would take place in a repurposed uh, Candy College. Uh, that was our intention. But uh, it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for everyone. It's been a tough year for us as well. Uh, and uh, some of the consequences of that is that we've had to make changes in our plan, uh, and we decided to refocus Codename Nightmare on apparel only. Uh, okay. So what that means is that Condemn Nightmare will be uh, a really unique apparel event uh, with a few additional elements, but it's going to be a, a collection of really cool looking unique outfits uh, that you will be getting to unlock uh, during season four. 
So there you have it guys. Nightmare event, scrapped, done, finished, thrown away, goodbye, have a good day, see you later. Thought it was gonna be a cool event and they turned it into just an apparel event because of whatever. Kind of a letdown. But anyway, there was one piece of good news after they announced that, and that was that come uh, February 2nd, which is the launch of Tuttle Update 12.1, is also gonna be their next gen uh, support for PS5, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, where they're going to allow the 4K60. Uh, they're gonna unlock that, so you now have that next gen support. So better frame rates, better resolution, smoother gameplay, we hope. But we'll wait till the second to see how that, how that goes. So after talking about the next gen support and the fact that the Nightmare event was now gonna be an apparel event and not some kind of special event like they had promised, um, they decided to jump right into season four. You can see that season four is called End of Watch and that begins uh, December 8th. Uh, it actually runs from December 8th till February 23rd. Um, so pretty much you'll have all of season four before even the next gen support even kicks off. Um, and you can see that the down on the bottom there, February 2nd, you can see the Nightmare Apparel event. Um, you can see we have another apparel event on December 22nd, um, which is, eh, there are apparel events. Cosmetics, really. Um, but this is going to be our prime target is going to be fail out. So they did say they're going to give us more story. They're going to give us a little bit more information as to why she went rogue, uh, which would be nice because I, I enjoy the story quite a bit. But you guys can see here, this is what we have coming up for December, January and February. Like I said, the one brand new global event, the shade exposed global event, uh, reanimated as well as the Hollywood global event. And then that's really going to be it. And we're going to have to see where they go from here with the story, unless they're just going to launch Div 3. So, or at least talk about Div 3. All right, guys. So once we finished up the roadmap for season four, uh, we kind of looked at some of the uh, holiday stuff that's going to be going live uh, next week. So Tuesday the 8th, the uh, holiday event goes live. You can see they're bringing back the Slayer. That's a, a gun that shoots snowballs, which is kind of cool. It'll be level 40 this go around. As well as the red Santa hat, which if you didn't get it last year, you can now get it this year. And then we have a brand new uh, Christmas hunter's mask that we have to go and find. Um, in order to get the red Santa hat, all you need to do is actually log into the game that week. So log in next week, you'll get the red Santa hat in your apparel inventory. Uh, if you want to get the Slayer uh, Snowball Gun, that you have to go find the Loot Goblin, kill him, and he'll drop the, the, the Slayer Gun for you. Uh, the Hunter Mask, they said, is not a brand new Hunter. However, um, they did not give any locations for his location either. But that's it, guys. That's all we got for today. That's what we wanted to cover. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, stopping by the video. Thanks for uh, checking out the channel. Don't forget to drop a like, guys. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified every time I go live or anytime I drop a brand new video. Uh, also, guys, visit the link down below for our Discord. Our Discord is uh, a very popular place for Division 2. A lot of good people there. Uh, 10,000 members strong. And uh, always looking to help people get through anything they need. So hopefully you guys have a good holiday. If I don't see you, if I don't hear from you, I will be live streaming. So hopefully I catch you in a live stream. But until the next video, guys, I'm out. Y'all take it easy. Peace.